I was paying attention to everything that was going on here, and I heard a word or two words coming. Can't send me that white star. <laughs> so thank you. Okay, that's good. See, I paid attention. God is good. And all the time. God is good. Dear friends, life is precious. It's a gift from God. God placed us here on earth to worship. God placed us here on earth to do everything to worship Him. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we worship you. This is your church. These are the people you called this morning to come here so they can be nurtured by you, they can be blessed by you, they can be touched by you, they can be sent by you, they can be filled with the Holy Spirit. We are asking that the Holy Spirit will be present, and the Holy Spirit has already been present through the singing and the prayers. Thank you for forgiving our sins. Amen. 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 See, what we are doing here is the extension of the church that Jesus Christ had when he appeared to the disciples after his resurrection and gave them the great commission, go, 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 go means you stand up and you start moving, go and make disciples. This is not optional. We have to make disciples. Why did Jesus Christ come? He came here on earth because of sin. He came to restore in each one of us the image of God that we have lost, that we have distorted. And he wants that image to come back in us. And once you recapture the image of God in you, you cannot help it but going to your neighbors and present Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter where you are, whether you are in prison, whether you are at school, whether you are at work, God wants you to share his good news of salvation. I was born in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. How many of you know where the Congo is located? The Congo is in Africa. There are two Congos. There are a small Congo and a big Congo, right in the middle of Africa, which is about the size, one quarter of the size of the USA. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, we have over 200 <coughs> languages. And then over 2,000 dialects. The president of the Democratic the Congo is a dictator. So my brother, in uh, 2014, in December 27, he said the president does not have any right to oppress people. He does not any, have any right to kill people. The lady that, that he had killed in April, she was only 33 years old. This president needs to be brought to justice. This country needs to be brought to justice. And that president got very, very upset. The next day, December 28th, my brother was uh, leaving the Congo to, co to go to Houston, where his doctors are, Houston, Texas. And uh, the Congolese soldiers arrested him at the airport in the Congo, and they put him in a prison. Maximum security prison, where they keep criminals. 
My brother, he is a personal prisoner of the president of the Congo. Can you imagine that? No justice, no lawyer can defend him. And he, he is in prison and he has been there for 10 months now. 10 months. In prison. He's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. In prison, he has brought 900 people to Jesus Christ. Can you give me an amen? Amen. Amen to Jesus Christ. Let us And he has baptized 450 people. Monday through Friday, he is busy praying for people and doing spiritual deliverances, casting out demons out of people. These are the things Jesus Christ wants you and you and you to be doing. Presenting the gospel of Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ came into your heart, he does not just stay there. Jesus Christ works. He changes lives and he gives eternal life. So he appeared to the disciples. The disciples who were very, very afraid that Jesus was killed. And now we do not have any power. If we continue to follow him, they are going to kill us. These were the people to whom Jesus went to. They were afraid. He appeared among them. And he gave them this commission. Let us read this text backward. Instead of studying with the of God, Let's start with what he said. I am with you all the time. Because I am with you, go and make disciples. Everywhere you go, I am with you to change lives. In the Lord's prayer, don't we ask God to bring the kingdom of God among us? May thy kingdom come. The kingdom of God is in your heart. You have the kingdom of God. You have the power of Jesus Christ. And now he's just asking you to go. And he said, all authority, all authority, Jesus said, has been given unto me. The authority to love. The authority to change lives. And you have it in your heart. You have it in your heart in the name of Jesus. And therefore, now go and make disciples. How do disciples of Jesus Christ look like? The disciples of Jesus Christ, they pray. They pray. When you pray, you break barriers that the devil might come and put between you and God. The disciples of Jesus Christ love. They love not only the people within their families, they love everybody. When I called my brother in prison, and I told him that I do have difficult time forgiving the people who arrested you, my brother said, you have to forgive. God wants you to forgive. You have to love the people who hate you. You have to love the people who persecute you. And so he said, brother, you have to forgive. And then I said, well, you know what? I am praying that one day you are going to see the light outside of prison. And he said, what do you mean? I am in the light. Because of Jesus Christ in me. My brother was coming to Houston, Texas, to see his doctors for his back surgery. He is in serious pain. He has seven vertebrae that have been damaged. But he's saying, this pain is nothing 
when I compare this pain to the many conversions, people coming to Jesus Christ, nine hundreds people to Jesus Christ. This is nothing. And he is taking every day as an opportunity to give glory to Jesus Christ by allowing somebody, at least one soul, to forgive their sin, to, to, uh, to ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. The disciples of Jesus Christ, not only do they pray, not only do they love each other and love their persecutors, they care for their friends. They care. They listen when their friends are hurt. They don't know, they don't only want to be listened to, but they listen to other people. How do, what do they do? They <coughs> everything is under control. <laughs> the disciples of Jesus Christ, they share the good news. The disciples of Jesus Christ, they continue to pray and pray and pray. So dear friends, this morning, Jesus Christ wants to remind you these things. He is with you. Not only with you, He is in you. The Holy Spirit is in you. Amen. The Holy Spirit is where? In you. Amen. In your heart, in your mind, in everything you do. The Holy Spirit, the third person in the Trinity, God the Father, Jesus, the Holy Spirit is in you. Amen. And the Holy Spirit in you will enable you to live as a child of God. The Bible says the Word came to His own people. His own people did not receive Him. But to those who received Him, He gave them the power to become the children of God. The children of God are not only necessarily the people who come <coughs> into this building. They are the people who has given their heart to Jesus Christ. In whom the Holy Spirit dwell. Because Jesus Christ is in you, just go and make disciples. Go and do like my brother. Every Saturday he baptizes people. Every Saturday. Monday through Friday, he's teaching them and praying for them. And Saturday, baptism. He started a ministry. And he called that ministry, Vano Ministries. That's his first name. V-A-N-O, Vano Ministries. And that ministry has four components. The first one is... He has been bringing lawyers into prison because many, many people in that prison, there are over 7,000 prisoners there. Many of them had never gone to a judge. And so because of the lawyers, he had set free over hundreds of them. They are free now. They are no longer in prison. And people are saying, hey, you are helping other people get free. Why can't you set yourself free? And he said, it's written in the Bible. Jesus, you are helping all these people. Why can't you help yourself? He cannot help himself because he is the president personal prisoner. That's number one. Number two, he has been bringing doctors to help prisoners there. Ever since he's been there, 10 months, the death of rape has gone down rapidly. See, when God is with you, when you go with God, you do help. You change the world. You change your friends. You bring happiness. You bring smiles in people's face, in people's lives. The 
The third thing that he's been doing there is, of course, to save souls. To bring people into a healthy relationship in Jesus Christ. Go and make a difference. Starting with your wife, starting with your husband, starting with your children and neighbors and grandparents and uncles. Not only that he is healing people, he's uh, helping people with medical help, the government cannot help those prisoners. They don't feed them. My brother has been feeding them. As we are praying that God will release him, the prisoners are praying that God will keep him there longer. And guess what? The prisoners are winning. God seems to be listening to the prisoners' prayers. Every single day they say, God, please keep this man longer here so we can learn more. When God touches your heart, you will do things like my brother. You will do things like Paul the Apostle. You will do things like Peter. You will do things like John Wesley. You will do things like Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is in you. All authority, Jesus Christ said, has been given upon me and I am sharing my authority with you. Will you accept Jesus' authority? This means yes. And this means no. Will you accept Jesus' authority? Take it! And now, all we can say is thank you, Jesus, for your authority. Let's, let's do that. Thank you, Jesus, for your authority. Let's do that. Let's all say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this authority. Now say it in Korean. <laughs> Say it in Korean, please. <laughs> Lord Jesus, we accept your authority. And especially before the bread and the drink that we are going to share, which represent the presence of the living God among us. May God's healing be given to you and you and you. Go and make disciples. I'm going to close with the my uh, vision throughout our district. My vision involves three, four words, and I want you to write these four words. I want you to connect with God. Connect with God. Share the good news. Care for the people around you and pray for each other. Connect, share, care, and pray. I want, I'm a teacher, and now I'm going to quiz you. What are my four words? The first one is what? Connect. Second? Share. Third? Share. Four? Pray. pray. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, what a loving congregation you have given to us. We are not alone. We are with you. Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Destroy in us what is not yours. Help us grow spiritually and help us continue to make disciples. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.